I've spent the day today reprogramming my panel to try further prevent false alarms. I've added alert and evac uh, logic, so that means any smoke alarm in the house will cause an uh, alert message for 45 seconds. And if the alarm is reset or silenced in that time, it will not call the fire brigade. Uh, but after 45 seconds, it goes into full-blown evac. Any heat or manual call point in the house will immediately override the alert. And if you've only just uh, set off the call point, it'll go straight into uh, evac. So I'll demonstrate that now. Um, we'll start with alert. I'll get a magnet. And we'll set off the smoke alarm. So this will cause a 45 second alert and I won't silence it and I'll show you the cycle. I'll at least acknowledge the buzzer so it's not quite as annoying. And after 45 seconds that fire strobe will turn on and it would send a signal through to the fire brigade. Uh, but for now, it is just doing an alert. Fire alarm system has operated. Stand by for further instructions. You'll see when this red LED up here is turned on, it's sent a signal through, uh, but it's isolated. So, no need to worry. Warning! The fire alarm system has operated. Stand by for further instructions. Okay, so now if I demonstrate a call cool point, you'll see that it will go straight into evac, bypassing that whole alert phase. Same with any heat detector in the house. Okay, the final thing I'll demonstrate is I'll start an alert sequence and then I'll call, uh, pull the call point and you'll see that it completely overrides it and goes straight into alert. So, get my magnet. And, where is it? There it is. You can see I acknowledged the call point alarm and then it went back into the alert stage until that had reset. So this is probably the most uh, effective way to stop a false alarm if someone's home and it has been caused by cooking. They can quickly silence the alarm and it won't set a uh, fire signal through. But if there's no one home or uh, there is a real fire then you won't silence the alarm obviously and then it will automatically send that signal through. This is actually commonly used uh, in the field for hush buttons and apartment modules. So there's a local alarm in the apartment and it only just plays an alert tone out in the main building. Um, and only the call points will uh, send a fire signal. So this is quite a, a, a well used thing. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.